what's going on guys welcome back to another video as you guys can see from the tag on thumbnail i'm gonna be installing a rear tail light uh, so let's do a quick unboxing and show you guys what i got so i got this one i went with the jl design i don't know if you guys are familiar with that Look how sick it looks. Have you guys been keeping up with our vlogs? You guys already know about the bike wrap. So make sure you guys uh, go ahead and watch that video if you guys haven't done so. I also have another video on how to install the race rails and other things that I did to the bike. So I'll link them up there or put a time card up there. So you guys can check this out if you guys are interested. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys the tail light, stock tail light. Okay, so what I did, I took off uh, screws here that hold the side fairing, and two more here. We'll put them here on the side, and then I also took off two screws that go on here. What you want to do is just give yourself some space to take out the stock uh, rear light. So it's pretty much uh, nice and cleaned up here. I did install the fender eliminator, so this are the cables for it. And right now I'm gonna unplug the rear tail light, which is stock, and take out that one screw that's on there. So down here, after you get all the screws from the top, you got two um, push pins. So you wanna push those in, and it should be able to release the tail light. As you guys can see so what I'm gonna do is uh, push down the lower part of the fairing here and see if it'll drop it. Alright so quick update after you get all the four screws back here and then that screw right there and the push pins that go on the back. You want to move on to the seat you want to take off the seat you want to take this cover here and then you should have enough space to push up the, the back fairing. So we got this part out, the cover. So now you have enough space to lift up the back tail. And you can just uh, push out the light. So I'm gonna put this down real quick. So now we have enough space here to take off the stock tail light. And what you wanna do is kinda work your way out. It's supposed to come down a little bit. This, this here. And then once you push it down, all right, I know what it is. You probably have to take these three um, screws here. You have to take them off. So we're just gonna loosen up the fender eliminator and watch it's gonna pop out. On your bike, it's probably gonna be different. It's gonna be like a little triangle, metal, like this color. Mine doesn't have it because I put the, I changed the fender eliminator. If you guys wanna see that video, I'm gonna link it up here somewhere. So, in order to have more space to wiggle it out, the brake light, you have to take out the fender eliminator that you might have. So now you have more, more wiggle room to take out the, the back tail light. So now, now it should come off without breaking anything. So once you loosen up the fender eliminator, you should be okay to take it out but it's still not coming out there we go voila so i want to show you the, the difference this is the stock one 
and this is the aftermarket one so we're gonna see how this looks I'm gonna install it really quick I always say really quick but I always take forever to do it to install it you have a little hook right here it's gonna go right on the back of this bottom fairing it's it's flush See, is that focus on there? So it's sitting nice and flush. So now it's pretty much putting back everything. So yeah, the biggest trick is to take off your, any uh, fender eliminator that you might have. So once you loosen it up, you have a lot of wiggle room to bring it down and push out your stock rear light. All right, so after removing the fender eliminator, I was able to install the tail light. You guys want to check it out? These wires right here are for the turning signals, but my uh, fender eliminator comes with the turning signals and the wiring already. So I'm not going to cut them and reinstall it. That's just there in case you get their brand, which is the JLD design. You're going to not plug in. You're going to have to, I don't know, wire them up with the turn signals. But I'm just going to tuck those in. I don't think I'm going to need them and that's pretty much nice and flush so now i'm just going to put back my fender eliminator connect it all back with the wiring I'm gonna show you guys, I know this is the moment that you guys are waiting for. We're gonna reconnect everything. Make sure everything's working properly. So I gotta reconnect my uh, fender eliminator. Let's see how it looks back here. You want to go back here and check out the tail light? Jesus Christ! So now I just gotta figure out my uh, blinkers. Okay, that was that's the right one. Now I gotta do the left one. That's pretty much it. You had it on before that. Yeah, I know. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you how it lights up with the brake light. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just going to close out the video here. You guys don't want to see me putting back everything into place. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And everybody watching, make sure you guys stay tuned for the giveaway. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.
Peace.